sign of the embattled police chief Dean Esserman and the police graduation tonight. News 8's Jackie Slater was there and joins us live now with the latest. Jackie. Darren and the ceremony just wrapped up here about 45 minutes ago. 30 new officers on the New Haven Police Department, bringing the total number of sworn officers to 458. But one of them was not here tonight. That's Police Chief Dean Esserman. His absence, however, did not take away from a night that these recruits have worked months for. Everyone, please stand up and give them a round of applause. Are the newest group of officers to be sworn into the New Haven Police Department. 24 men and six women earning their badges during a time of uncertainty. The badge you wear can sometimes act as a magnet, alternately drawing attention, scrutiny, criticism, and praise. Police officers themselves have been targets of violence and senselessly martyred. Police Chief Dean Esserman currently on a 15-day paid leave of absence, notably missing from the ceremony. Esserman has come under fire for allegedly berating a waitress at a New Haven restaurant, demanding she be fired. Last month, the police union voted no confidence in the chief, but tonight, city officials say is all about the men and women who will now be taking to the streets of New Haven. Acting Chief Anthony Campbell praised them for their accomplishments. It is an honor to congratulate you. Class 21 of 2016 for completing your rigorous academy training and for arriving at this moment. For each and every one of New Haven's newest sworn officers, it's a day that marks seven months of hard work. The past seven months was a grueling, tough, mental, physical experience, but it was well worth it. I think it's going to pay off in the end. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm looking forward to being out in the streets of New Haven. And for some, a lifelong dream. I always wanted to be a police officer. I tried once before and I didn't get it. And then I tried for New Haven and I got it. Just my call and just want to get out there. Ah! And late last week, one of Esserman's administrative assistants filed a gender discrimination complaint against Esserman and the city. The city declining to comment on that case tonight, saying tonight was all about the new officers. Live in New Haven, Jackie Slater, News 8.